and it ties into the idea of the whole gemstone series of the Emerald Lady. It all ties into the idea of wars okay. and what drives wars in our world. Why do we have war? Right. You know, what, what's to be gained from a war? And, and so we find out that the American Revolution, you know, all these different wars are driven by these, this mermaid because mermaids live a thousand years. So if you live a thousand years, you have a lot of time to meddle. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and to and and to see things come to fruition. Because, you know, when you think about America, we don't really look far into the future. We don't, we don't plot and plan things out. When you get to some of the older civilization, the Romans had, you know, Greeks, they had the idea of empires, you know, right. the Greeks, the Chinese, the the Egyptian, they had the idea of these empires. The Western world really doesn't have that kind of uh, viewpoint, world viewpoint, because we live in the now. We live right. in, we don't see dynasties. The Chinese, they saw a dynasty. Their family was going to rule for centuries. Right. You know, the Romans, they figured they were going to rule forever. You know, the Romans never thought they were going to be defeated. Right. And, and they did. They ruled for like a thousand or so years. You know, right. the closest we got to that in modern day was Hitler and the Nazis. Right. They were building their third right. They were going to live, you know, rule for. But of course, they could not because of the modern day weapons and wars and stuff like that. Right. You just can't control people like that. You know, right. it's, an, it's, it's almost impossible these days to have that kind of uh, worldview right. of being able to dominate the world for even a few years, much less hundreds of years. Right, yeah. So that so that's my political take. I always have political takes and, you know, as a writer, it's never just the story. Exactly. It's, you know, there's always stuff mm -hmm. going wrong. And that's why I get wrapped up in some of my story because as I'm reading through these things again, I'm like, oh yeah, that was such a good idea, yeah. And I wonder if anybody else will see that point. <laughs> yeah. You know, because you because you know the point you were trying to make. And you think to yourself, oh, I wonder if anybody else is going to see that point of view. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love, don't get me wrong. I love time travel science fiction, but I have issues with most of it. <laughs> I do too. And my thing is, do, do you remember a show called, um, what was it? The Time Zone? Was it Time Zone? Time Zone. Uh, it's the thing where they had the little black and white circles, the time machine or something like that. I figure what it was called now. Anyway, this is going back into the 60s and 70s. Okay. And they would go, and they would pull, they had a time machine. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you know, the little circle of black and thing. Mm -hmm. And they would push people into that thing so they can go back in history and see what actually happened. Okay. And so in this in this show, they go back to specific events to see what happened, you know, so they can get a real idea of exactly what took place. And of course, it was always, oh, well, don't do anything that's going to upset the thing. Don't change stuff, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. But yeah. it was always the idea of, yeah, that didn't really matter. Because when these people came back in, in time, they were like a ghost yeah. in, in the past. And every once in a while, they would show up. They were like, I told we told you not to interact with anybody. I said, we didn't. And then they show them a newspaper. Right. Well, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. how, why did you save that person? He said, well, it was an accident. I really didn't mean to save them. And, yeah. But then they wind up dying anyway. Yeah. You know? So they wind up getting killed some other ways rather than, you know, at that particular time. Yeah. So it was like the idea of they didn't change time but yeah. they wind up inserting themselves into the time, into the time stream. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's time travel for you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they did the movie. I was in Hollywood at the time, me and my brother, and we went to, you know, we went to the Hollywood uh, theaters and, and, and the movie set. And as we're walking in, you know, we kind of like, smooth our way into the what's today and we're walking by and we come up on the set of star trek and we see the the bridge 
Mm-hmm. And we like make a beeline for that chair. <laughs> we're, like, we're like, oh my God, that's the enterprise. <laughs> I got to get that. I got to be my brother. I got to get in the chair. we we'll are sit in the chair and, you know, walk factor one. <laughs> All this kind of stuff. And we're sitting there and, you know, there's nobody else on the set. You know, sound sets are just wide open. Right, or, yeah. Or garages or or you know, thing. So we're sitting there and, you know, we're at the controls and all this kind of stuff. And then, you know, the guy, the guard come by and say, hey, what are you doing in there? Get out. <laughs> and we're like, all right, all right. Yeah, we're leaving. And we walk out. And as we come around the corner, we run into a Klingon. Oh, wow. Like and a this full is makeup. The, yeah. And this is the first time you see the Klingon with the full makeup, the head, all this kind of stuff. We walk into the guy and we're like, holy shit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> And we're like, oh, my God. So who are you? And he said, I'm a Klingon. I said, wow, really? You're going to, you're, what happened to you? <laughs> remember, in the TV show, the Klingons were just, you know, regular people right. with a Fu Manchu. Right. You know, this guy is, you know, got the red, ribble hair, head yeah. and all this kind of stuff. And we're like, what happened to you? <laughs> That's so, cool. Star Trek would be my number one if I could be in anything. Star Trek will be my number one.